Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up this Black Web 6 Device Universal Remote Control. I'm going to go through how to program the direct code entry, auto code search, and also some other features that this remote has. And I'll also show you where to get the codes if you don't happen to have a code list on you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, first things first, let's make sure you have a good set of batteries. You guys wouldn't believe how many comments I've had on my other videos about this because it'll appear that the remote is working good. It'll program, but it won't program correctly if the batteries are weak. So make sure the batteries are good before you get started. These go in the back, double A times two. And if anybody's interested, there's a sticker right here that uh, shows the model number, it's in the battery compartment. Now I wanted to mention these four colored buttons on the front. They are used to access device shortcuts for additional features or custom apps on your device if that feature is supported. Okay, so let's get into the programming. So there's two ways to program the remote, the direct code entry and the auto code search. The auto code search can be used if you've tried all the codes in the list, that's this list right here, and you didn't have any luck you can try to use the auto code search. I'll be getting to that in a minute. But we're going to start off with the direct code entry. You're first going to want to make sure that your device is turned on before we begin. Press and hold program until the red light comes on. And you can use any device that you want, any of the six, but we're going to be doing a TV. So press TV and I'm going to be programming a Vizio TV. The code is 3 five three three okay the red light should go out and what you're going to want to do at this point is test the code to make sure all the functions work input volume channel mute power on and off if the code only partially works then try the next code down the list some devices have several codes so you might have to go down the list if none of the codes work that are on the list try the uh, auto code search and see if you have any luck with that so this same method can be used to program any of these other devices. I'm only going to show the TV for sake of time. And let's cut to the test. All right, we're just going to give a quick little test to the TV here. To the remote. Power on. Yep, coming on good. Volume up, volume down, see, input, yep, 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 yep. Menu, yep, menu's working, and power off. Yep, works good. So the direct code entry is going to be the most popular choice, but every once in a while it's too difficult to find a code. So in that case, the auto code search is your next choice. It might take several minutes to go through all the codes if your device just happens to be towards the end of the list. So we're not going to do that because it could take up to 10 minutes to go through all of the codes. All right, press and hold the program button. Okay, and again, we're going to be searching for a TV code, just for the sake of it. And then I push TV, press OK. And you're going to want to keep the remote pointed at the device the entire time. If you veer the remote away while it's flashing, what happens is every time it flashes, it's sending out a code. Okay, you might miss the code and then you think you didn't work, but it did work. So keep it pointed the whole time. And then what's going to happen is, is you're waiting for the TV or device to turn off. All right, so it just keeps sending out codes. It's going to go through a bunch of codes. But uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to hold it down there for very long. So let's just say, up, oh, the TV turned off. Release the OK button right away. And that stored the code. So same thing here. 
If the first code only partially works, go through this procedure again, keep holding the OK button down, and the TV is going to turn off on the first code like it did before, but you're going to want to wait for the second code that works, and the TV should come back on. When the TV comes back on, release the OK button, but the point is, if the first code doesn't work, just keep um, scrolling down the codes until you find one that works the best. All right, that's it for the auto code search. Now let's talk about the volume lock. You can use this feature to lock a device to the remote's volume control. For example, the remote can be in TV mode while the volume buttons control your soundbar. But to make this work with a soundbar or amplifier, you'll have to have one programmed in already. So for simplification, I've already programmed in my Bose soundbar. So to enable this, press and hold the program button until the power light comes on red. Select the device that you want to lock the volume buttons to, in this case the soundbar, so that's amp. And then press the volume up and OK. All right, I got two flashes and it turned off. That's it. So now when I run the volume up and down, it's going to control the soundbar, but it's not going to affect the volume on the TV. To disable this, press the program button again till the red light comes on. Press volume down, and then OK. All right, I got my two flashes. Now it's back to controlling the volume from the TV. Um, there's also a favorite channel feature, which you can store up to 10 channels in the remote. I'm not going to cover that feature for the sake of time, but I will cover the channel lock feature. How this works is, is say you're using a satellite or cable box and you don't want the remote to change the channels on your TV. Instead, you want to change the channels on your set-top box. It's pretty similar to the volume lock except with the channels. Okay, just like before, you'll have to have your set-top box pre-programmed in for this to work. I've already pre-programmed in a Dish Network box using the direct code entry that I showed you earlier. To enable this, press the program button until the power light stays lit. Select the device that you want to uh, lock your channels to. In this case, I'm going to select SAT cable. Press the channel up. And then OK. I got my two blinks on the power button. And that's it. Now what happens is, is when you hit the channel up and down, it's going to run the channels up and down on your SAT set-top box instead of your TV. Uh, to disable this feature, Press the program button, channel down, and then OK. OK, now it's back when it's in TV mode. Now it's back to controlling the channels on the TV. That's about it, folks. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. And subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.